Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Adobe Muse Quick Start Guide and in today's video we are going to be going over how we can create lists inside of Adobe Muse. So you guys should all pretty much be familiar with lists and they're sort of a couple of different types. Well two main types really, you've got your bullet pointed lists and we've also got our numbered lists. Now you could just go ahead and create the you know, the lists by just writing in sort of the numbers before it or putting a dot before it, but it doesn't look that great. So I'm going to show you how to do it exactly, you know, the proper way of doing it with Adobe Muse so you can set up your styling and that kind of thing. So if we go into our design mockup once again, and if we head over to this page here, you can see we've got a little list. You can see here it's just got these sort of little hyphen things. It doesn't look too great, so I'm going to be showing you how to do it with numbers, and then I'm also going to be showing you how to do it with bullet points as well. It's fairly simple, just head over to Muse and this time we're going to be working with the about us page and we're just going to create a normal text box from here we need to create the list now if we go over to our text properties at the top you can see we've got our options for this here so we've got the first style of lists over here which is sort of like the bullet pointed style and that contains our bullet white circles and our hyphen minuses as well so that's basically like the little dashes and on the other side we've also got the numbered ones and you've got different number styles as well so you've got i i i i i i i one two three o one o two and so on so you gotta you get quite a range in the bit of a choice that you can sort of choose between and get the look and the style that you're looking for. So if I go ahead and open up my Adobe Muse, you can see it's hello world, another world, getting further, damn son you're out of this world. Let's go ahead and put that in and we're just going to use a normal bullet point list for now. So go ahead and select a normal bullet point list and you can see the bullet point has popped up on here. So now let's go ahead and write something in there. So you write stuff in there in the same way as you do normally. Just go ahead and chuck it, chuck it in there. Hello world, another world, getting further and damn son you're out of this world of this world and you can sort of change all of this and style it in the same way you would before so you could just go over to the text panel and you can change things like the size of the text the gap between each line um, personally I think this is a little bit too close together so I might want to increase that to sort of make it look further apart which you can see is sort of happening there which does look quite nice you guys need to make sure you're selecting the whole list so this sort of happens universally um, you know, that's, and that sort of changes uh, just like that. So once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create the numbered sort of list now. We do it in the exact same way. So we just press enter a couple of times, just get into the normal style and get out of the list and go ahead and create another style. So the next one I'm going to work with is sort of going to be like an organized list. And this is going to be a one, two, three list. And the first list that I'm going to add, add on here is I'm just going to make something up for now. And that is going to be um, watch muse series and then second one is going to be watch html series watch css series and so on you can sort of make it a little bit more organized and that's sort of the main difference between the two types of lists so you've got your first style of list is the bullet points it's unorganized and but I mean you can sort of get the point across anyway whereas the second types of list the numbers one the numbered ones the lettered ones they're all sort of organized and you can plan things out a little bit better but anyway that is pretty much everything that I wanted to go over in this video hopefully you guys should be able to create a list inside of Adobe Muse and you also understand sort of the difference between the organized lists and the unorganized lists so as always guys make sure you share the video smack that like button and I will see you next time goodbye